Thank you, Nick. Also developing here this morning, we now know more information about the officer involved shooting that left one man dead yesterday in Decatur. Police aren't releasing his name, but say the 38 year old died at a hospital a few hours after that incident. Officers stopped that suspect walking near Brandon Monroe because he did match the description of an armed robbery suspect just a few hours before. That suspect was walking with two other people at the time of the stop and officers say they approached him. They lowered him to the ground at gunpoint, but then the suspect got up, pulled what appeared to be a firearm out of his coat and the two officers on scene then fired their weapons at the man. In the last three, three and a half years, we've had, I think, seven officer involved shootings, which is incredible. It's sad uh, and it's 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 a, a world that I, you know, I wish that our officers didn't have to live in. And I'm just thankful that, uh, you know, I, that we have officers not just here in Decatur, but across this country still willing to do it. So a firearm was recovered at that scene. The other two people with him at the time of the incident ran away. Officers are still looking for them here on this Tuesday morning, but officials say the police department did have prior involvement with the suspect. They don't believe there's an active threat at this time, but they're still encouraging residents to stay away from the area as ISP and the state's attorney's office both continue their investigation. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.